And when we have a look at the discharge of a river, it's very important that you must have a look at two types of discharge. We've got laminar flow on the one side and turbulent flow on the other side. Now, what you must know is you must know the difference between your laminar flow and your turbulent flow. And you must know why do we get it and the, process that we, uh, the, the uh, processes that we get in these type of flows. Now, let me just get this thing started here. So, if you have a look at this, people, then immediately you will see that on the one side we've got the water flows as parallel sheets. Have a look at that. Beautiful parallel sheets. But look at this. Very turbulent, the water is flowing on the side. Why is it flowing parallel sheets? Because the river bed right at the bottom will be even. And if you look at this one, immediately you must, you, you, you must know that the river bed on this side will be uneven. And of course, just look at the way the two of these uh, rivers flow. Of course, there will be more erosion on this side by your turbulent flow than in your laminar flow. So people, please, you must know the difference between laminar flow and turbulent flow. Now, uh, last year in the exams, they asked a question with regard to laminar and turbulent flow, which I would like to share with you. It was a more short type of question. Now, people, I would like to uh, tell that just in our, as in our previous ones, as soon as you see this icon, you must know we're busy with an exam question. Uh, right. Now, the question was as follows. Study the figure below. Indicate whether each of the following statements refer to turbulent or laminar flow in a river. Now, here we've got the diagram. And here we can see our turbulent flow there. And here we can see the laminar flow, uh, uh, flow here. Um, and, and I hope you've made a mental note uh, of the images that you've seen in the previous slides. Uh, I pur on purposely put the two next to each other so that you can see the difference between the two. Now, all you had to do in this question is they made a few statements on this side and all you had to say is, is it laminar or is it turbulent? Is that easy as that? Have a look at that. Associated with the riverbeds that's level and even, of course, there, uh, it would be laminar if you've, you've listened uh, to, to our discussion. Okay, associated with irregular swirling flow, you know, the turbulent flow, turbulent. Now, look, how easy is this? Effect of any eroding, of course, it would be turbulent. Commonly occurs in the upper course of the river. We're coming back to the upper course. Just hang on with that so long. That would be turbulent. The water flows in thin layers. Remember the, 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 the video clip that we showed you? Laminar associated with higher river velocity, which also be laminar occurs where rapids are visible in the river's course, of course that will be turbulent. 